So mutton chops, I never asked. How many werewolves have you killed? Oh, about five, I'd say. Five, wow. Oh, you mean, are you counting human form too? Human form? Is that a felony? Hey guys, welcome to Revolver Roundup. Today, we're gonna see if a 44 Magnum short barrel is enough to kill a werewolf. I've killed many werewolves, about five. And to the best of my recollection, this is roughly what a werewolf toughness is. Some thick carpet fur, very strong skull, very mushy brain, and then a coat on the back of their head that's very nice. So we're going to chronograph each one of these rounds, guys. Uh, let me go through the rounds with you quick. So these are all hand loads. This is a 125 grain, 357 gas checked. This is a 180 grain ordinary hollow point. Unfortunately, that's all I had were hollow points. And then for 44, we're going to swap it up. So we got a hollow point 200 grain. And then this is our feature bullet on the on the show today. This is a 280 grain hard cast lead from Matt's Bullets. And it's a really nice looking round. So guys, if you like loading 44 mag or any any cartridge really uh go check them out mattsbullets.com so we're going to start off with the 357 and then we'll go to the 44 and go from there start off with the light bullets See what we get out of the two and a half. All right, guys, so there's no doubt on that 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 is a three fifty seven Magnum on that one so 1409 out of a two and a half fourteen fifteen fourteen thirty seven Fourteen twenty. All right, guys. Next, go to the six inch. And this should be some really nice results. Doesn't like these primers today. All right. So out of the six, we got seventeen forty-seven. Sixteen seventy-nine. Seventeen eighteen. Seventeen fourteen. All right, now we're going to do the one eighty grain. Bullets. <clears throat>
Here we go. Twelve hundred. Eleven ninety eight. Twelve sixteen. Now the average and then the six inch. Twelve oh four. Predict these to be somewhere around 14, so let's find out. Fourteen oh one. Thirteen sixty nine. Fourteen sixty three, average fourteen eleven. All right, guys, now we're going to swap over to forty four mag and do those ones. Start off with the short barrel. Faster. These are 200 grainer. <coughs> All right, guys, so thirteen ten. Thirteen oh three, twelve forty five, twelve eighty six average. Guys, I'm gonna get the nine. Here we go. Fifteen forty seven, fifteen seventy two, fourteen eighty nine, fifteen thirty six. Forty grain. That's bullish. This should be exciting.
12, 17, 12, 08, 11, 64. That's 11.96 average. And we got one more to do. All right, guys, let's see what we get out of the nine and a half. Shucks. Looks like the dirt's gonna have to take it now. <coughs> All right. So we got thirteen seventy two, thirteen seventy one. 1357 1366 all right guys we're gonna pause we'll be right back with some more numbers for you all right guys so we've tallied up the numbers for the two and a half and the six inch 125 we got 1420 and 1714 that's 560 foot pounds and 815 for this one since we're talking about big animals that's a tko factor of nine and ten then out of the six inch or out of the 180 grain bullet out of a two and a half and a six inch we got 1204 and 1411 that comes out to 579 and 796 for a tko of 11 and 12 on the 44 mag 200 grain the two and a half inch and the nine and a half inch we got 1286 1536 foot pounds of 734 1048 and a tko factor of 15 and 18 and on the 200 grain or sorry 280 grain two and a half nine and a half we got 1196 1366 which comes out to 889 foot pounds and 11 60 foot pounds and that's a tko of 20 and 23. so guys now we have our extremely scientific werewolf and just to tell you guys ahead if the two and a half inch 357 zips right through this we got a thicker werewolf skull because when they get real big, they get really thick skulls. So let's see what happens, guys. First will be the 125, and then second will be the 180. <coughs> well, that was exciting. set with the thicker werewolf skull all right all right guys so we got a thicker werewolf skull let's see what happens next up we got the 180 green out of the two and a half Ooh, we've got a stoppage there The werewolf skull has stopped that one. So, cameraman, the six inch power is up. 
All right, guys, so 125 first again, followed by 180. Here we go. Now we're talking werewolf skull. Ooh. So the werewolf would have felt that for sure. Probably would have knocked him unconscious. Maybe even back into human form. They're really easy to kill when that happens. There's a bullet hole right there. Alright guys, 180. Here we go. <coughs> oh, there's the bullet. Ah, look at that. I don't know which one that is, but... It's a bullet. His skull's starting to get a little cracked up here. His brain is still intact. Alright guys, next. 200 brain. 44 mag. Out of the two and a half. Stopped easily. One eighty grain is next. I don't know if the shockwave did him or. Maybe. That bullet, that bullet went through. All right, guys, so on the last it, one. What's this? Oh, man. Good eye. Is it warm? There's wood on the front. That's pretty cool. Nice big old slug. There right, guys on last we have a nine and a half. First up, 200. And did not go through. His brain's still intact. Even the gallon looks pretty cold. Guys, now the 280 grain. That one came through.
there is a chunk of lead in there. I think that might have had a hole through it. Yeah. What oh, was this? I think that's it, guys. Let's take a quick little look. That's it. It's missing the gas check on the bottom, and a lot of the lead looks like it got stripped off. That's it. So guys, we're gonna reset one more time and just do something fun for you. Hey guys, we're back. Now let's have a little fun. Baby werewolf. All right, guys, I think we got the werewolves out of the way. So, what did we learn today? Probably not much, but we did learn that if werewolves are about, you're better off going with 280 grain lead bullets, and it seems to punch through their skull a little better. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.